Uh oh, big daddy. Big daddy. Oh my gosh, what is that? I don't know, it's big. It might be a big crappie. Yeah, no. oh, I don't know what this is. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and today we find ourselves out here surrounded by this beautiful cypress tree and water tube below swamp. Y'all have seen us make a ton of videos out here over the years, but unfortunately, we're running out of time that we can fish out here because they are emptying the lake, the lake completely. Um, this area though has the most water on this end of the lake, so we're gonna do our best to try to catch some fish and take them home to eat tonight. And also, we're gonna be trying to do something kind of crazy. So they actually released, I think about 500 fish with tags on them. It's like a little lottery tag system. And if you catch a fish with a tag, it's worth 500 bucks. But actually, they just doubled down, and if you catch one with a tag, it's worth a thousand. So that would be really cool. Neither one of us have ever caught a tagged fish before, and it would definitely not suck to catch a $1,000 fish today. So to do that, we're out here. We just got a box of night crawlers, which will catch just about any fish out here that swims. And we're mainly going to be targeting some bluegill and red ear, but if we catch, we can catch bass, we can catch crappie, we can catch catfish, we can catch anything on a night crawler, and we'll happily take it and throw it here in this cooler. And then if we catch one with the tag, we will happily take it over to the wherever we have to take it to and claim our $1,000. Uh, the odds are against us. I think it's like, you know, 520 million are the odds. So not not that great odds, but it would be but really there's cool. there's still a chance. There's definitely still a chance. But we're going to get after it. We kind of got out here a little bit later than we wanted to. Um, it's very hot and very bright and sunny today. So we're going to be trying to target some of these shade lines out here. Um, man, it looks crazy out here. These trees are so far out of the water, it just don't even look right. Like, look at this tree right here. This tree right here, you can kind of see where the water line was. And yeah, it's like three foot low. Crazy. It's crazy. And kind of sad too, like just being out here, but we're gonna make the best of it. Yeah, we're gonna try to. I wish that we had just a little bit more time yes. because we're really getting close. Like we're honestly like probably three weeks out from it being like super good out here. And I just think it's going to be just a little bit too late, unless we get some monsoon rains, yes. which that would be cool. But anyways, we're going to quit rambling. We're going to get after it. We're going to try to catch some fish. Hopefully, you all are excited to tune into this one. If you all are, do us a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And let's see if we can get lucky and catch a $1,000 fish. Woo! Ready to go? I'm ready. Let's go. Little baby guy. Ooh, what was that? Or a big fish jump out there. There's this lots is, of fish activity. There's a bunch of fish out here moving around. Just a little bluegill. Definitely gonna throw him back. Got you. What is that? Is that a crappie? <gasps> it's a crappie. Yay! It's a crappie. No I was like, is that a crappie? A bit just like one. I'm gonna catch me one. Man, we get some crappie jigs. Jay got a little bite. I saw that. Oh, 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 oh. A little black crappie. Man, if we start catching some crappie, this video I is going to... lose my mind. Yeah, it's going to change to a completely different kind of video. Another fish. Is that a crappie? Nope. A little bluegill. Tell you it is hot already. It is a steamer in these woods. Tiny little bluegill. What's that? Oh my gosh. Green sunny? A warm mouth? It's a warm mouth. Those are bass schooling right there. What? Oh, I'll go throw some bass in the cooler. What's that? That's another crappie. Shut up. Is it? Yep, another oh. crappie. Another crappie. There's crappie in these woods, Jay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Black crappie. Are there any biggins? I tell you that one I missed earlier felt like a crappie and it felt like a bigger crappie. Mm. Got you. What is that? Is that another crappie? It's another crappie, JJ. There's a school of crappie over there. There's a school of crappie over there eating these worms. And he's almost big enough to keep. Well, there's no so there's no size limit on crappie out here right now. He's just a little small though. I'd rather him be like at least eight inches. He's probably like a seven incher. But we get into some eight-inch crappie. Oh, it's going down. And they're biting as soon as it hits the water. As soon as I get it, there's a big lay down and they're just like chilling right next to that lay down. Which makes sense if you're a crappie. Bass just jumped over there. Crappie, oh, 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 my gosh. oh what is that? 
Oh, Jay wants a crappie so bad, you can hear it in her voice. On this one. Jay wants a crappie so bad. <laughs> I really do. I think it's gonna happen. I've already caught three. Another little bluegill. Back. Yeah, he's a little small. It gets to a point where they gotta be big enough where you can actually clean them. Oh, new species. New species. A warm mouth. Look at this. A little warm mouth. He's cute. I might get you a big one of them too. Big warm mouth. They're super tasty. A bass. Okay, we got a bass. It's not a monster, but it's a bass. All we need is like a little catfish or something. We're here wanting to keep some fish, but we ain't catching stuff that's big enough to clean. <laughs> Yeah, this is a fish tank fish. He's so cute. He is cute. Tiny little large mouth. Cypress would like that one. Maybe we should set up a large mouth fish tank. That'd be cool. Hey, I'm, I'm down. You know I'll set up some fish tanks. What's that? Uh-oh. What's that? What's, What's that, big boss? My line is wrapped around. Oh, I thought you had something massive for a I second. I did too. We've been catching a bunch of super tiny little dinky old bluegill. That one there is not going to be big enough to keep. But he's still pretty cool looking. Yeah. He's bigger than the past five fish I caught. Yeah, hopefully we can find <laughs> some a little bit bigger than that one. Got you. That might be a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Finally another bluegill keeper. We just been kind of making our way through these trees, uh, trying to find some deeper water, trying to figure out where the bigger ones are hanging out at. Um, we found some groups of small ones. Hopefully we're on to where the big ones are hanging out at. That's a good keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How big is it? Oh golly. He is small but mighty. He fought hard. <laughs> oh gosh, I got a bite. I got a bite. That's a little tiny guy biting mine. He can have it. Let's see what you got. Another solid schmedium. Medium. <laughs> he like barely hits the medium level. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's small. He's small. He's like a one biter. Like you take all the meat off him and you just give him a one bite. Uh oh. Another little guy. Uh oh. Ooh. He looks kind of decent. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a red ear. Oh, Good nice. keeper. Not bad. Not a bad little keeper, red ear. We'll take it. We'll take it. Jay just caught one, another little smedium. That's a good bite. Is that a good one? Please be a good one. Is that a good please, one? Please, please. Oh, a little small. Come on. <laughs> At least they're biting. They are biting. We're just really trying to find the good ones. I know there's gonna be a spot out here that's gonna have some big daddies. We may not find them today, but I know they're out here. 100% know that they're out here. You just gotta stumble on them. It's kind of just, I don't know, it's kind of a needle in a haystack kind of thing though. You got all these trees and all these little holes. They could be anywhere. But they usually are grouped up pretty tight. Oh, fish on. I got a bass. I got a bass on the swim bait. Ha <laughs> ha. He's in the boat. We were uh, paddling back over here where we were first bluegill fishing and uh, we seen some fish kind of swirling off. So I decided to pick up my little swim bait and I was uh, ripping it by the boat and this dude bit it boat side. That's a good little keeper largemouth, probably a pound or so, maybe a pound and a half. Jay's got her clout worm in hand now. Yeah, I might catch me one. Might try to catch a couple of bass right here. Put some meat in the cooler. Yep. <laughs> now if we can get like an eight inch or a 10 inch crappie, that'd be, that'd be fire. Shoot, my bottle's gone. Got you. Look at 
chasing that big boss up there trying to catch the bass. But I couldn't stop uh, <laughs> tossing the worm out. We got a spot that looked really good. Maybe catch a big red here. Fair give it a shot. We saw a bass ship up here on our left. Might go over that way. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, that's a nice one. Is that a red ear? Oh, what is that? It's a crappie. <gasps> Let's go. That's what I wanted. Let's go. That looks like a keeper. Yeah. Maybe? I mean, like, not a, not a real keeper. Like, as in, like, three months ago, you couldn't have kept it. But now you can. That's an eight-incher. <laughs> and eight-inchers are delicious. Yes, they are. They, they used to used to could keep eight inches out here, but then they swapped it to ten. I'm all about that. We're getting a spread now. We got a spread. We got bluegill, red ear, bass, and crappie. Just need a kitty cat. <laughs> There's loaded by that stump right there. It's crazy. We were back behind just a hundred yards. We were not getting bit at all. The environment looks practically the same. And back over here, and they're just I don't know. Fired up over here. I didn't get bit that cast. It's scary. Uh oh, big daddy. Big daddy. Oh my gosh, what is that? I don't know. It's big. It might be a big old crappie. Oh I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a big daddy red ear. Are you serious? Ha! He wasn't even biting like a big fish. I told you there's some big daddy red ears out here. Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. This is the kind of fish we were hoping to catch out here in the swamp. Most of the fish we've caught them in like smaller keepers. This is more of the size class redder we like to catch and keep. Yes. That is a beautiful fish. He was like just nibbling it like a little fish and I just decided to set the hook and uh, it was heavy and I just caught that crappie. So I thought I had a big crappie for a second, but I was excited to see this really nice size red ear. But that guy right there is going to eat up super well. Cooler is getting full. I mean, look at the spread of fish we got in the cooler already. We're gonna add this red ear to it. I love it. It looked like a whale when you pulled it out compared to the other fish. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Well, how do you feel about our day today out here? Uh, it was pretty good. We didn't catch a thousand dollars though. We didn't. That kind of stinks. We probably caught we probably caught 50 fish. We caught dinner though. We did catch dinner. <laughs> Open that thing up to see what we got. We got a nice little smorgasbord of options. Wow. We got some nice red ear. We got some nice blue yellow. We even got a bass. We got a crappie. <laughs> we got pretty much all. Well, I guess we don't have a catfish. We no catfish. That's okay. And we didn't get a limit. You know, there are no limits out here right now, but... um. I don't know which one I'm most excited about eating. I'm excited Honestly, about... Honestly, probably either the bass or the red ear. <laughs> yeah, that red ear is a slab. There's a couple of nice red ears in there. And that bass, he's pretty good size too. That crappie, they're all going to be good. Mm -hmm. They're all going to be super tasty. And I am so hungry right now. <laughs> yeah, we brought Big Boss out here without eating breakfast or lunch. So, and that's that's not good. Yeah, I'm not me. I'm, I'm look, I didn't catch that many fish today. Yeah, because I'm hungry. Yeah, we also got <laughs> here a little bit late. We've kind of maxed this place out for this time yeah. of day. If we come back out here this afternoon, we'll probably catch a ton. Um, but it's just difficult whenever the sun gets up really high and these fish they kind of took up really tight these shade lines. And we honestly just haven't had that much luck. We've been yeah. struggling the last hour or so. So, I'm thinking that is a sign that we need to get home, get these things cleaned up, and um, we should eat them. Yes. Yeah. That sounds great. Sounds really good. <laughs> Behold. Behold, we have fish sandwiches. We got yeah. Big Boss. Yeah. We got the big bed there. What's up, Sa? Si? Um. What are you doing? What are you doing? I eat these. What are the? How did you get those? It how's it that you're get? How's it that you get the chocolate chips and we get the fish sandwiches? Even though I think we had the better end of the stick. <laughs> I got stored. You got what? I got stored. Sto at the store? Yep. You got oh. chocolate chips at the store? You lucky boy. Eat one. Oh man, Cypress really doesn't even like chocolate. So. No, but he does. He will eat a few chocolate chips. Yeah. He hey. likes to make cookies too. He loves making cookies. He's I a, like it. He's gonna be our little good. baker. He's gonna be on um, on Kids Chopped one day, <laughs> Cupcake Edition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've got our bluegill red ear crap. I'm not even sure what those fillets are. Um, it's one of our fish that we caught today. It's not the bass. It's one of the little guys. But we made these delicious little fish sandwiches for lunch. I see them. Go for it. Looks so good. I see them. We fried them in breadcrumbs. Jay's got tomato and pickle and tartar sauce on there, I'm like always. For it. Just going for it, Sai. Mm. Is it good? Mm. That's 
delicious. That's, That's delicious. delicious. That's right, buddy. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> That's delicious. It's always nice when we're able to go out in our backyard and uh, go catch ourselves some fresh fish. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it, it, it it's nice while it lasted. Yep. <laughs> yep. I don't think we can get out there anymore. I don't. Honestly. Yeah, I don't think we can get out there anymore. Because whenever we were coming back in, um, we were getting stuck. I know. It's like the water dropped. Like when we had to push to get out there, and on the way back in, we had to like really push. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. we might not be able to get back out there again. Cypress don't even really know yet. He hasn't no. really grasped it. Cypress, are you happy? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. good. That's, that's all, all that matters. matters. <laughs> Snap me a bite of my fish sandwich. Well, that's delicious. That's good. Um, another thing I'm a little bit sad about is that the pickles that we have on here, um, it's our last jar of pickles from the pickles we made this summer. So that's going to be it until next summer. We're going to have to go to the store and like buy uh, grocery store cucumbers if we want to make our own mm -hmm. some more, but we'll probably do that. These pickles are good and a sandwich is even better. Okay, so we just finished eating our fish sandwiches and we're walking out here on the dock. We just wanted to give you all another quick little lake update just so y'all can kind of see what it looks like and keep up with it. It's just, it's just changing so much by the day, actually like by the hour. I mean, look at this guys. Look at how much the water has receded since the last time we showed y'all. I mean, look out that way. And it's just nothing but a bunch of mud. Look right here on this side of the dock. You can kind of see the shoreline. We got our boats just down here in this kind of a little bit deeper dugout area. But all underneath those lily pads is all mud. But this is the part that's kind of shocking. It's kind of a glare. But all of that right there, that is all exposed mud. So basically all of that, you can't navigate anymore. And that's just happened over the last few hours, I think. And again, look over there, you can see all the mud. We got a little bit of water, but I mean, it's just like two or three inches deep. I wonder if there's a lot of fish in this area. There could be. We're gonna, I mean, in a few days, all of this is gonna be dry. But this right here is, we got a little bit of a trench dug out right here. Um, so the fish are probably gonna get trapped in there. It's Cypress, right. Cypress, where'd all the water go? It's far away. It's over there, it's went away? Yeah. Right. What are you gonna do when the water goes away? Catch fish. You're gonna catch fish in the mud? Wow, that was a good cast, Cypress. Went all the way out there. There you go, good cast, Cypress. Yeah. Wow, you're so cool. Look at that hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Cypress, you need a haircut? No. Are you sure you don't need a haircut? Say, no, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that's gonna be it for today's episode thank you guys so much for hanging out with us out there in the tree swamp doing a little bit of catching and then coming back here and doing a little bit of cooking it was a lot of fun hopefully we can figure out a way to get back out there again before yeah. it's too late as y'all just saw from the little lake update it is just so low and muddy and a little bit depressing but yeah. we're gonna we're gonna figure it out we're gonna find some place to fish before it's all empty but until then thank you guys so much for watching the video if y'all enjoyed it please hit that thumbs up button uh -huh. Hey, hit the thumbs up button. Thumbs <laughs> up. Yeah, and tell them to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You guys heard the man. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We're, We're Colin J and Cypress, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.